Okay, welcome to part five of our Space War game. Uh, in this part, we're going to be making a missile uh, for our ship to fire. Uh, kind of make it a little bit more interesting. This is uh, has a lot of little features that make it a little bit more complicated, and we'll talk about that as we go on. But here's what we have so far. Um, we have a situation where we've got the player, we've got the enemy. If the player and the enemy collide, the you know, enemy just kind of jumps to a random location. And that was just, you know, get us started here. Um, okay, so what I want to do is I want to be able to have a weapon that I can push the space bar and a weapon flies out and I can kill the enemy with that. Okay, so let's get started. So what we have to think about, well first we have to create, again, so it's going to be a sprite, but we're going to create a new uh, class, and I'm going to call it Missile. So, and I called a bullet in my original program, so if I say bullet, I mean Missile. And it is, well, I'm just going to copy this, because this is our, our boilerplate, and because it also is a child of the sprite class. And so, okay. and we can do that. So same thing when we create our actual instance, it's a shape, color, and a starting point. Now, uh, a missile is going to have a couple different things. So it's going to have a speed. Now, because it's a missile, we're going to make it faster than the other items, objects on the screen. And it's also going to have a status. And what that means is that tells us what's going on with the missile. Okay, so for example, when I start the game, uh, the missile is not being used. Okay, it's just, it's basically hidden in the ship, ready to be used. And uh, so we want it to be available, but not visible. We want it to be, you know, there, but not, uh, you know, doing anything yet. Okay, so we have a bunch of different statuses we're going to have. Okay, so... What we need to do is, if the status, oops, sorry, if self, uh, so define, so we need to create a method called fire. So we want to fire the bullet, or fire the, fire the missile. Okay. So if, I'll tell you what, let's do this a little bit differently. Uh, define move and self. Now, Let's see, let's see, define fire. It's kind of hard to explain. Uh, sorry, so define fire. So if self.status equals ready. So if the bullet is ready, change the status to shoot. So in our move method, so what we're going to do, so we're basically now what we're doing is something's called we're overriding a method. Okay. So the move method for sprites is this. Okay. But we're going to override that. And we're going to make a new method for the bullet. Okay. Or sorry, for the missile. So we only want it to move if it is firing. Okay. So, so if self.status equals firing, so if it is firing, self.fd, self.speed. Okay, so let's change this to firing. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense. So when I create the missile, its status is ready. So when I fire it, it goes from ready, which is kind of waiting, to firing. So in my move method, if it's firing, it's going to go forward at its speed. Okay. Hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. Okay. And let's save that. Now I need to create the missile down here, so missile equals missile 
and we're gonna make it a triangle. We're gonna make it yellow. And we'll start it, doesn't matter, zero comma zero. And a couple things that we want to do with it. Um, because it's a missile, we want it to be a little bit shorter or smaller. And so I'm gonna say missile dot shape size. There's a shape size method we can use. Stretch. Stretch width, I want it to be 0 0.3. So it's gonna be 30% the size of the others. Stretch length equals 0 0.3. I'm going to play around with that a little bit later. I make it a little bit longer than it is. Um, and no outline. Okay. So let's, so we did that. Um, we've created it. And let's run it. So that was not defined. So. Self because it's inside of a class. Okay, so you can see there is my missile. <laughs> okay, and it doesn't really do much yet. Okay, so it's nice and small. Now, what we want to do is when it's on the screen, we don't really want it to be there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say self dot go to minus 1000 I just move it off the screen a little bit okay there's other things I could do but this in my mind works so it's gonna be just way off the screen you won't be able to see it okay. but okay so then what I have to do is I have to make a key so I'm gonna use turtle on key so when I press the space bar it's gonna be missile dot fire and for some reason, space is lowercase. So, so turtle on key, space bar, missile fire. So missile dot fire. So it changes the status from ready to firing. And if the status is firing, it will go forward. Now I just want to hide this for a second to show you what's going to happen. A couple things. And then we're going to say missile dot move. Okay, now I'm going to push the space bar. Okay, notice it fired. Okay, and it's gone forever. Um, it fired from here, not from here. Okay, so we got to do a couple things. So inside of our missile class, so if self status equals ready, it goes to firing. Right. And so down inside move, so I'm going to change it to firing. And then what I need to do here is I need to into oops. I need the missile to go to where the player is. So player dot x core. Player dot y core. Okay. So when I push, press the space bar, I'm going to change the status from ready to firing. Okay. So space bar. Okay. Notice it moved to where the player was, but kept going in that direction, even though the player was going up. So I need to self that set heading. I need to set the heading to player dot heading. So the missiles heading is going to be changed to the player's heading. So if I push the space bar, did you see that? Now of course it went off the screen and I can't fire it yet. So there's a couple problems here. But we're getting there. 
So what I usually do, what I what I would do here is bring that back to here. So now it starts off off the screen. So you can't see it. I can push space. And of course it goes away. So what we need to do is we need to do some border checking. Okay, so we've already done that. Okay. And So status equals five. So basically what we gotta do now is if it hits the border, so border check. So if oops, if self dot x core is less than negative two ninety or self dot x core it's greater than 290, so if it's any of these, or self dot y core, I gotta put the parentheses or it doesn't work. You get weird errors. Less than negative 290. Actually, let's just uh, go down to the next line. And 290 or self dot y core is greater than 290 self oops, self dot status equals so we're going to change it back to ready okay and what we would do is we'd say miss sorry self dot go to take it back off the screen and yes I know there are other ways to do this but this will have to work Okay. okay, so what's happening here is we've created a method for the missile. If, it's, if it is ready, that means we can go to where the player is, get the same heading, and set the status to firing. And then move is always being called inside of our main game loop. So if I go move, if the status is firing, it will go forward. So border check. If once it hits the border, it disappears and the status is changed back to ready, which means we can fire it again. So there's our simple bullet, or sorry, missile object. So let's test that. Okay, it disappeared. Okay, fire. That's weird. Okay, it disappeared, disappeared, disappeared. Okay, so it's working pretty well. We got a weird little artifact there, but but for now we'll leave that like that is. We have to play with that a little bit later. Okay. Okay. So, oh, well, I'll tell you what. Why don't we uh, go one step further? We've got a working missile now. Let's have it do something with the enemy. So. So check for a collision between the missile and the enemy. So if missile uh, is collision enemy, and we're just going to do the same thing. So we'll just move it to a random spot. So. And we'll update this later once the game gets going, but this will just kind of test the uh, theory, make sure everything's working. So I want to try and shoot this guy now. Oops, I forgot why it's doing that. Oops. Okay, I'm terrible at this game. Um, okay. So you can see how that, yeah, so you can see how that works. Okay, so I am able to shoot it. Okay, now notice it keeps it goes clean through, um, so I don't want that to happen. So collision with the enemy, enemy disappears, and the missile that status equals ready. So it goes back to being ready, so it doesn't kind of go through. Okay, 
I think what we'll do, um, because of that weird problem we're having, is in our move loop, our move method, so if self.status equals ready, then we're going to just move it off the screen. I think that'll probably fix some of those. Okay, I shot it. Okay, so you notice is when it hits the enemy, it disappears and the enemy disappears. And I think that's about that.